Matthew is a pilot for a non-commercial operator. Today, his boss asked him to perform a ferry flight from the main base to the maintenance center. As he is setting up the electronic equipment he would like to use for this flight, Gasper, the chief pilot, interrupts him when he sees that Matthew is trying to fix something on the windshield of the helicopter. Gaspar explains to Matthew that fixing something with a sucker mount on the windshield is forbidden on the Capri G2, as indicated by a safety notice. Further to the safety of the windshield, a major risk is the obstruction of flight controls caused by a loose piece of equipment. Gaspar recommends Matthew to properly store his smartphone and to use a knee board for his tablet or the certified mounting system provided. Matthew tells Gaspar that he would like to have his smartphone ready to access in case he has to pass some important text message or to pick up a call via Bluetooth. Gaspar indicates to Matthew that, as in a car, the pilot should be careful not to be interrupted during the flight. If it is vital, it is better to land and use a smartphone once on the ground. Gaspar reminds Matthew to remember the film about electronic flight bag distractions in flight produced by IASA. During the flight, it is important only to use devices like a tablet or smartphone for tasks related to managing the flight itself. Do not use the phone to make calls in flight. A helicopter is not a car. Matthew has taken off and is enjoying his ferry flight. The landscape is nice, but Matthew remains mindful of the possibility to encounter traffic, especially in the summer. The weather is hot today. Suddenly, a burning smell emanates from his kneeboard, quickly followed by some smoke. Matthew realizes that the tablet in his kneeboard is starting to thermally run away. He removes the kneeboard from his leg and initiates a descent to land immediately. Then he reduces his airspeed immediately and opens the door with a restraining strap which enables partial opening to evacuate the smoke. Matthew lands in a field and shuts the engine down quickly. He rapidly gets outside the helicopter, finds a safe place to set his kneeboard with the tablet and places it on ground. Matthew makes a phone call to the emergency services to ask about the action to be taken and to request the fire department to come and deal with the fire to prevent it spreading. Use appropriate safety precautions with your PED. Remember the key risks. FOD and flight control obstruction. Distraction in flight. Thermal runaway. And don't forget to prepare your electronic flight bag system before departure. General check of the electronic flight bag operation by switching it on and checking that the applications they intend to use in flight are adequately operative. Check of the remaining available battery power, if applicable, to ensure the availability of the electronic flight bag during the planned flight. Check of the version effectivity of the electronic flight bag databases, if applicable, charts, performance calculation and weight and balance applications, for example, and Check that an appropriate backup is available when a chart application or an application displaying aircraft checklist is used.